Yo, what up? What's poppin'? It's me, Josh, here again. And I got another video for you. I got a great video for you. This is how to be a more intelligent person. Educating yourself does not need to be boring. You know, I know a lot of us, we like to sit down, watch the news, and just have information spoon-fed to us. But we can't do that. We can't do that. We have to educate ourselves. We gotta go seek information. This does not need to be boring. It doesn't gotta feel like school. It doesn't gotta feel like we're just studying. It can be cool. It can be fun. I got some great tips. So without a further Further ado, we're gonna jump right into it. Number one, talk to smarter people. Befriend and engage in conversations with people that are more intelligent than you. I'm telling you, you can really expand your knowledge base by just talking with people. When you're talking with people, you're expressing your viewpoints and then you're getting met with different viewpoints. You're bouncing ideas all over the place. And what happens is you actually learn things and learn different facts that you didn't know about before and you add that to your knowledge base. You keep adding things. And when you're talking, when you're engaged, when it's interactive, the information you learn sets in deep. I think it's one of the best ways, hands down, to retain information. Number two, be more open-minded. Being smart involves being open to different viewpoints and different ideas that may contradict yours. So next time you're talking to somebody and they express an idea or an opinion that's different from yours, don't just write them off. Listen to them. Listen to how they defend their viewpoint. Listen to any facts or ideas they present to the table. And take that knowledge and use it and add it to your own knowledge. Base. This allows you down the road to better defend your viewpoints because you already understand the other person's viewpoint. Number three, one of my personal favorite things to do right now, and that is utilize audiobooks. Because look, we don't always got time to just be sitting down, open a book, and start reading it, flipping the pages. You're like me, you know, life can sometimes be go, 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 go. You don't always have time to just sit down and crack open a book. That's what makes audiobooks so great. They're so easy, they're so convenient. You just put in your headphones and you listen to the book. You listen to it, it's amazing. There's all kinds of different apps and things where you can find audiobooks. Even YouTube has a lot of free audiobooks just uploaded on their site, an awesome app I have right now is called Audible. Um, I think you pay you pay like a monthly fee anywhere from ten to fifteen dollars. I can't remember exactly what it is, but it is a steal because you get access to like every audiobook. Because of that, I've been flying through so many audiobooks and I've just been learning so much, and it's so much easier. It fits better in my schedule. So I highly recommend this. Invest in audiobooks. I'm telling you, it's gonna change your life. Number four, research what interests you. So I think when you're starting out trying to educate yourself, I think you should first make a list of the things you're interested in but are just absolutely clueless about. Start with learning about things you're curious about first. It helps you get the ball rolling, because if you just start trying to dig into things you're not really interested in, you're not gonna be into it, you're not gonna follow through, you're gonna quit before you even start it. It's funny, I remember when I was in school, I used to think I hated reading, because like I was always reading and studying just to, to get the grade, just to pass a class. Then after I graduated, I realized I actually love reading I just needed to take away that restriction of, oh, you gotta pass, you gotta get a good grade, a good GPA, all that stuff. And so once I started researching and learning about things I was interested in, it added on to my knowledge and it actually made me more interested in the subjects that I wasn't so interested in before. Because as my knowledge grew, it changed my perspective on those things that I didn't think I was interested in. Number five, last point, and this is a fun one, and that is learn a new word per week. So at the start of the week, Pick a word, you know, learn the word, figure out what it means. And through the whole rest of the week, use that word in your vocabulary. When you're in conversation with people, find ways to squeeze that word into the discussion. Because the more you use the word, the deeper it sets in and the better it sits in your vocabulary. It'll stay in your vocabulary that way. And watch, what's gonna happen is weeks are gonna go by, months are gonna go by, years are gonna go by. And what's gonna happen is that your vocabulary is gonna go from here to hear. Pow! This concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. You already know how I like to do it. I like to keep these videos short, clear, and concise for you, easy to digest. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you appreciated it. If you like this video, give it a like. Click that like button down below. Drop some comments down below as well. I love to talk to you in the comments because I love this family, this community we're building together. It's amazing. I, I really enjoy it. Also, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you've already been subscribed, make sure that you click this little that little bell button down below by the subscribe button because I've gotten some messages for some reason I guess YouTube is being a little weird or something or some of you aren't getting notifications when I drop a video we cannot be having that so if you're subscribed 
click that bell button. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button and make sure you click that bell button. Snap, I don't wanna ramble too much. Oh, <laughs> my birthday, holy crap. My birthday is coming up June 22nd. I'm very excited. I am an excited boy. But anyway, look, I'm not gonna ramble. I'm actually looking outside. I see blue skies, it's sunny. This is gonna be a great day. It's gonna be a great day. So look, once again, Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic week. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope some of these tips that I gave you, you use them this week, okay? You know, learn a new word or something. <laughs> but anyway, look, that's it for me. I'll talk to y'all soon, all right? Peace. <laughs>